So one day, I was scrolling across my Xbox Game Pass just to see what other games I can install from my computer. Then I suddenly stumbled upon Chris Tales, where, quote, you experience the past, present, and future simultaneously in this gorgeous indie love letter to classic JRPGs. Just out of sheer curiosity, I got it. So let's see what this game is like. Already at the conflict? Or is this even the main conflict? Alrighty then. Wait, it's not over? Um... Alright, so it already has a good style to the animation. So I'm starting to get a pretty good impression of it. Crisbell, time to use your new skills. Be swift, be precise. First, select attack and then choose your target. Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Okay, is this gonna be like South Park Stick of Truth? Second hit requires precise timing. Make sure you press the button again right as your attack hits the enemy. Oh. Very good, Crispell. Be cautious. Watch for your opponent's attack and press the button right when they hit you to block most of the damage. Nicely done. What? That was clearly delayed as far as I could see. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah, apparently she's deflecting the damage, even though it's been far after he attacked. There we go. Are you supposed to be? Oh my, you gotta be kidding me. You Hello, my name is. Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. And again. Wait, what? Did I not hit Z correctly? Okay, finally I did hit the entry this time. Not bad. Hey, Christopher, by the way. And again, I just did it. Ooh. 
All right, there we go. New phone, who this? Ah. And again, you don't know that that doesn't. I'm just taking off my enter key off my keyboard. Ugh, there we go. Not even a scratch. What? I can't take much more of this. Chris Beth, it is time. Use the crystals. The crystals. What kind of crystals? Wait, did we just suddenly leave the battle? Like... Uh, did we just let them pass? What? Welcome to... Nara Town. Wait! My rose! Crisbell! Chris Bell. Mother Superior. Chris Bell. I better not keep her waiting. Use the arrow keys to move into your desired location. Press C to interact with people or objects. Um what? Okay, so I feel like we're about to go find a rose. I should talk to Mother Superior first. Stupid! I should talk to Mother Superior first, okay? Chris Bell, finally. Did you prune the roses yet? I'm sorry, Mother Superior. It's just my rose. He. the frog. It took it. Ha! <laughs> what a nerd. Enough, enough. I've seen that look before. Find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. Okay, I cannot get enough of that name of Mother Superior. I honestly can't get enough of that. Don't worry about you. Press A to check your current objective. I have to get my rose back. Okay. Lovely day for a walk in the woods. Okay, that wasn't very helpful. Um. I still have to find that frog. Chris Bell, what's the hurry? Good morning, Marco. Have you seen a little yellow frog? A frog? Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? Uh, top hat? Then no. Maybe try the mayor's estate. There's always something going on there. I'll try. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day! I still have to find that frog. What? Couldn't it have gone that way? Huh? huh? Oh. Nice. Uh, does he have any evidence? All right, I guess not. Think about the future. It's not just the farms that'll be renovated. It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town. Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning over fields. Money, power, your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you! Where's your proof? Proof? Look around you. Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, but not the town. You. Now, see here. I never... 
Okay, why do I always go to the next line, when, even though that that previous line I wasn't finished with yet? Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Crispell. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go, hmm? May the lady light your way, Crispo. Too many in town have strayed from her grace. Oh, thank you. I should go. Alrighty. So, where is that northern... Oh! Um... So, where is that northern fields that he must have said? Or, she! Okay, I'm sorry. Well, of course, it's called the Southern Woods. Of course, I had to be not very big brain. Hi, Polly. How are things? I don't know, Chris. Between the crops, the monsters, the weather, it never ends. I just saw your dad with the mayor. Really angry. Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always, we give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. Sorry, Chris. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat. A top hat. He took my rose. <laughs> a frog in a top hat? Only you, Chris Bell. But I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral is as good a place as any to try. Are those rose petals or are they? Oh yeah, those are definitely rose petals. If Mother Superior finds out I've come here alone... Behind you! Oh, that's where the rose is. Who's doing this? Actually, you are. You have opened the crystals of time, Chris Bell. Yeah! What are... I mean, who... How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. On me? Why? I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? What are these crystals? Why me? More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I can't. I don't want this. Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Powers? This is a curse. Why is this even happening? You are upset. Perfectly understandable. But I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only. But sadly, no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. Okay, so could he be talking about the mayor's estate? What am I supposed to tell them? They won't believe me anyway. Okay, now my vision is acting a bit weird. Okay, wait a minute. I think I might get it. Um... Oh! So I'm... I think this might be the present, and over here might be the future. And the... Could this be the past? Oh, wait. I think I might know where to go. Let's 
see if we what happens when we go down here. And now, oh, is it this one? Here we are. He lives just over there in that hut. Oh. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. This soil, it feels warm to the touch. We'll help. Answer the door. Go away. I'm busy. Open the door, you pompous child. We have important business. Matthias? Huh. Idiot frog. You're a child. Manners. You're speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispell. Um, sir? Crispell has opened both crystals of time. Ridiculous. Impossible. Why not even I have been able to? Yet it has happened. No. No, no, no. There's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time age. As am I. And while my powers have led to my youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future. Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. there. Okay. Oh, I'm gone now, apparently. No. Tell me, what do you see in the future? A tree. It's growing from the seed I planted. Exactly. A glow fruit tree to be specific. But take care. It will only grow if you care for it. Otherwise, it will wither and die. So if I do something in the present, I can affect the future. Obviously. Has that not always been the case? Now, however, you have the ability to see future possibilities, so choose your actions accordingly. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes, go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. Oh, nice. Wait, what? Matthias, what? Crisbell, you had me worried. Nerd! Mother Superior, you're okay. The orphanage is still here. Well, of course. What's got you so excited, child? Did something happen? No, I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yes, he... He was just here. I need to find him. At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. Y yes, Mother Superior. Now, go find your friend. And don't take all day. I you still have to prune these roses. Matthias? I thought it best not to upset your Mother Superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Oh. Crispell? I am sorry if I upset you by leaving. No, I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future. Abandoned. Empty. How could that happen? I do not know, but let us look around town. Perhaps your new powers can shed light on this. Oh. Um... Quite unfortunate. Unfortunate? The Millers are homeless. Without the apothecary, the town has no medicine. Only in the future, and only if you let it happen. If I let it happen? But... No, you're right. Those poor houses. 
<laughs> okay, should I talk to that more or less? Why would someone do this? Um, excuse me. I think your shop has rot problems. I don't have time to worry about that right now. If you want to talk rot, talk to the carpenter over to the west. Oh, the west? Excuse me, Mrs. Miller? I think your house has a rot problem. Really? That's strange. The carpenter would have told me something about it. Maybe I'll go talk to him tomorrow. Maybe we should talk to him right now. Um, you went to the lake, Charisma? I've heard the view this time of the year is beautiful. At least it used to be. This will be the new face of the town. Okay, then. That's kind of questionable leadership. If, if I'm correct, at least. Oh, you're still here? Run along now. Okay, then. Let's be the carpenter. And it was the guard. I'm so stupid. Oh, wait, I just realized. I went east, not west. Oh my god, dude. I'm so stupid. Like, could this be the carpenter by any chance? Yeah, yeah. Good morning, I guess. Let's go. Can you help me? There's a problem with the houses. A problem? Great. What did you see, girl? Inside. From the outside? Neat trick. Sounds like someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Would have lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. Can you make some? Do I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. Carpenter Joe says the apothecary knows how to make the tonic. The apothecary? Oh. Why would someone do this? This will take forever to sort out. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me. You and half the town? No, no, I can't. Someone tore the label off of my mushrooms. F in the chat. It's terrible. One of these is red button. Good for digestion. Great on a salad. One of them is ground death cap. Even the tiniest bit could be deadly. An important distinction, wouldn't you agree? Of course, with no labels, it's impossible to tell them apart. Can't you just throw them out and make some more? Sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. My father used to do all of that. He bottled and labeled them years ago. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Me too. It'd be nice to have help around here. Since Dad died, though, I try to keep everything the way he left it. But there are only so many hours in the day. Sorry, I've got to get back to work. No wonder she's upset. They all look alike. I suppose they do. Let me try something. Ugh, I can't see them in the past at all. Allow me. All right. Press S to prepare a time hop, then press this to make Matthias hop to the past. Okay, then. Alright, so I guess he's a parent. Wait. Since when did tadpoles have legs to walk on? Just a little nudge. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Ah, there. Well, this one has a skull on it. I imagine this is the death cap. 
press S to prepare a time hop then. Oh. That sticker. I saw it today. Some kids were playing with one. I should tell June which one the death cap is. Would she have any reason to believe you? No, you're right. We need proof. Um, wait, how do I do this? I should tell Would she No, you're So it seems that there are kids that took the death cap sticker. Or stickler. Is that a real word? Please tell me in the comments below. kids? They seem kind of sus if you ask me. Oh, they're non-existent at this time. Oh, let's see what else we could do. Oh, come on. Guess it could be that kid? Oh, wait, no, I'm pretty sure that kid wouldn't be even born yet at this time. You know what? I think I actually am gonna have to look this up now. Okay, so my stupid self actually revealed that it was actually those kids this whole time. Check out the cool sticker we found. It's a skull. You took that from June's. Do you know what you've done? It's only a sticker. You can't just take things from stores, especially not the apothecary. Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. Alright, nice. This is as much proof as we are likely to get. Miss June, we found your label. It goes on the bottle with the red lid. Where did you find it? Some kids took it. They just thought it was a cool skull sticker. I don't think they meant any harm. Of course they didn't. <sighs> What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. All right. Chris Bell, was there something you needed? Yes. Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare and it doesn't keep. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. Is there any glow fruit near Nareem? Maybe I... I wouldn't get your hopes... And I did it again. But ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. You might get lucky. And that, my friends, will wrap it up for episode one. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notifications. And check out the other videos I have on my YouTube channel. Still then, stay tuned for episode 2. Which, in this series, each episode will be released every other video. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.